Hi everybody, welcome to day 19 of the Songwriting Challenge. My name is Alicia Renice and I'm a singer-songwriter based in the DMV area. For the month of November, I'll be offering tips, encouragement, and tools for fellow songwriters like myself who might just need a little boost, or a little like pep in their step, whatever. This is what these videos are for. If you are interested in joining a five day, a free five day songwriting challenge, feel free to sign up at the link below. What you'll get is every day for five days, you'll be sent a prompt, a songwriting prompt with time limits and everything. So it'll help you flex your creative muscle. It'll help you write better songs. It'll help you get you thinking, get your blood pumping and all this other stuff. So yeah, so feel free to join. You also get community. You also get access to a community of other songwriters just like you who want to write songs. So why not? join us free so yeah so let's get into day 19 all right so today's tip is to do a daily sketch i know we're not artists we're not illustrators well we are artists but we may not be illustrators or you know cartoonists or whatever or you know might not even be uh i i am not <laughs> i am not gifted in the a visual arts area except photography but that's not really sketching but anyway so the idea of creating a sketch every day is to beat perfectionism. We all know what it feels like to like have the critic in our head telling us how much we suck, telling us, oh, you'll never create whatever, whatever, or that was trash. How dare you think that was good? What is wrong with you? What's wrong with your ears? Like stuff like that. We all are very familiar even with, um, what is it? Imposter syndrome. Like who am I to write a song? Who am I to share this, these words of encouragement? Who am I, you know, to think that I can do anything big or impactful? That is our inner critic, critic, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you have read the book, read the book, um, the the art of war, no, the war of art, <laughs> um, by Stephen Pressfield. He talks extensively about our inner critic, about resistance specifically, and what resistance is trying to do is to stop you from creating, right? So you feel inadequate to create, you feel like all your work is trash, but then if you don't create, then you feel like trash because you're not creating work. It's like you can't win. You can't win, and you're stuck inside your head. You're stuck inside this loop. So a daily sketch is essentially just that. So you would take something of your music, right? So say um, you want to record a cover, or say you want to write a song, right? So you would set the timer for like 30 minutes to 45 minutes and you would actually just either write the song, write the lyrics or record the vocals or record the instrumentation, depending on like what you're doing. You would stop at that 45 minutes, save the file, save what you wrote and share it. And yes, and share it with other people so other people can hear and see even the process of you creating a song. So the idea of doing that is to not put the pressure on you to feel like you have to have a completed work of art before you share it with anybody or that you have to have a completed work of art that's perfect before it's out to the masses your idea is that you're fighting your inner critic and being like yeah this might be trash right now but it's going to be awesome when i finish it and it'll have a, a higher success rate of being completed because now that people have heard it and they will be like, oh i want to hear the end of it now you feel like you have to ha hold your word have to complete something and you're being held accountable by other people so yeah, so it's kind of like setting yourself up for success in a way. You're forcing yourself to put your music out there. You're forcing yourself to share your writing process, to share, you know, how you record vocals or whatever, to share the hard parts, the, the in construction parts, right? So that you're not stuck on trying to make something perfect or being a perfectionist. And you only have 45 minutes. So you don't have all day to master and mix this thing to create this great work of art, work of art. What I will say is that as an artist, I appreciate seeing the process of other artists in their process. I would much rather be along for the process and feel like I'm a part of the process as opposed to just, you know, seeing the, the end goal like, dang, that's so unattainable. But when I see how much work the person put in, when I see how much, um, you know, how much they suffered with angst and anxiety and fear and all this other stuff, like, that makes me feel better. Like, oh, I'm not the only one. I'm not alone in this feeling like trash or feeling like my work is trash. I'm not, you know, the only artist struggling with perfectionism. You doing a daily sketch of your work, a daily sketch of your work and sharing it is going to be beneficial for you and other people. You will also free other people from thinking that they have to have perfect work to share it. Perfectionism, fear of man, all that stuff, it's a trap. It's a trap. It's not going to help you live your best life. It's going to help you help you stay in the corners and like keep everything hoarded away so nobody can hear your great music, you know? Don't let perfectionism, resistance or your inner critic silence you. Do a daily sketch. Fight it. Show up every day and share it with us. Okay? 
So that's today's tip. Like I said before, I'd like to keep it really short so that you actually can apply what I'm telling you to do every day to your songwriting process and you're not really stuck on like taking in so much information that is distracting you. So I hope that this is encouraging. I hope that this was helpful. Um, if so, let me know, like, subscribe, share with somebody and until tomorrow, I'll talk to y'all later. Okay? Don't forget to sign up for the five day songwriting challenge. All right? Bye. <laughs>